Mm, it was up here. Okay. Next boss time. I'm just gonna go in with my shield. It's the best way to learn. That's what I, I keep. I'm gonna keep saying that. Try projectile. Ah, eh, maybe. Here we go. Dark Souls Pro Skater right here. <laughs> oh, good god. Giant tree monster. Bed of chaos. Can I just stay far away from it? Hello? Nope. You think we can block that? It's worth a shot. We might as well check now. Certainly can block it. Do we just have to maybe get close and just hack away? It's pretty... There's weird little orange things on the side. I'm going to try to go to those. Let's just run with our shield up. Swing! This is doing no damage. What the hell is this? I'm like in the tree. What's going on? Well, whatever we were supposed to do, this seems like the right thing. So now we have to try to get to the other side of it and hit the other one because I'm not really clear. I think kill these things and then, like there's orange glowy things on both sides and in the middle. So I guess that's what we have to try to go for. It still has full health. Can I hit this? I... I don't fully understand. Alright. Let's just run with our shield up. Oh, God! No, thank you, sir. Ugh. Get back to the safety of in the tree. Okay. I, I know I can block those, but... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Is there a safe spot? Uh, uh. I guess let's try to ah, get to the other one. Can't go that way. This is weird. It's like a it's almost like a puzzle boss. It's not like an actual boss. We have to find our way to the other thing. And we can very easily get knocked off by the hands. Oh my god. Just don't get knocked off. Oh no. Make a run for it. Make a run for it. Keep the shield up. Get in there. What am I doing? Is this even... I assume this is what we have to do. I don't know. Levitron says you got it right. Okay, good. Now he has more fire. Now it has more tree... The tree's on fire. You'd think it would just burn itself out, wouldn't it? Hang on. I have a plan. Let's just stay in here. I don't think... Oh, no, it can definitely hurt us in here. For a second, I thought it can't hurt us in here. It definitely can. All right, we gotta make a run for it. I was gonna eat one of those green plants. Oh, we're gonna get knocked into a pit. Oh, run. Ah! I'm alive! How am I alive? Oh, Jesus. Double sip. I think I have to go to the... I see that the middle, there's branches. Ah! There's branches in the middle. I guess we just gotta go for it, right? Put the shield... Get the shield up. Okay! Okay! 
Make go. Go, go, go. Jump. No! 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 <laughs> oh! I... I didn't really know what else to do there. I had no I, I had no idea really what to do, I guess. Ah, you, you, okay, so you're saying I was so close. So that uh, that was what I had to do? I saw the, the middle area looked... It looked right. So I was like, all right, I guess... If you're telling me that's the right thing... All right, let's... Do... Hang on, hang on. Remove, remove. Where's my fire whip? Chaos fire whip, baby. Let's see it. I love it. I love it. I love our pyromancy skills. They're great. Alright, cool. Artificial difficulty? I mean, sort of. I guess if you just can get knocked into pits. My friends would tell me this boss is bullshit, and I can see why. Yeah, I mean, though, it seems like it's a tax exists specifically to, like, sweep you in certain directions. And th there's, like, holes in the ground everywhere. So I think... I mean, it... I, do I have to break the, the roots? If I have to break the roots again, again, it, it seems to me the key is run with your shield up, I won't take much damage, and you don't get knocked as far. We could also try Havels, because maybe it won't sweep us quite as far. But we'd be moving a lot slower. Also, I need to rest at the bonfire down here so that I can uh, quickly get back there. It's literally a dice roll on whether or not you can make it. I randomly beat him once after being killed ten times. Oh, great. Okay. So let's rest at this bonfire. And then... This, to me, seems like the closest bonfire. Maybe the... Maybe the... Uh, the fair lady one, I don't know. Then we have to run through the demon fire sage boss, through the through the shortcut. But once we're through the shortcut, we can run by the fire guys pretty easily. There are no other enemies in Lost Isolith. And we can just run through the fog door. To me, that seems like the closest. Unless there's a bonfire somewhere in that giant lava area, and I honestly don't really plan on going there at all. <laughs> if I don't have to, I'm not gonna go there. It is funny, though, coming off of the difficulty of the DLC. Like, the bosses of the DLC are insanely fun. They're a lot harder. They feel mechanically more challenging. Whereas a boss like this, like, you can't just attack it and do damage. Or I haven't done any damage yet. Also, Solaire is gone? See you later, Solaire. I don't know where you are now. But, but, yeah, and I agree with Jones, though. They, they, you like the obstacle course idea of it. Like, I like the variety of it. This thing respawns? I guess this is the only place you could farm Demon Titanite, unless there's another place where these things typically respawn. Uh, but we have to try to get by him, so that'll be fun. Jump. Nope. Run. Run. That sucks. not get hit by this. Alright. Um, so we have to go here and here, and then up the branch. Ignore these stupid things. I'm kind of glad there are no other enemies in this area, though, because these are very easy to just completely bypass, and then we're already at the fog door. Is the remaster worth it? I already beaten the vanilla three to four times. I mean, I haven't. I, this is my first time playing the game, so I can't really say. If you want to replay the game, it certainly couldn't hurt if you have the money. But 
hey, you know, that's up to you. It doesn't really, I don't, I mean, other, other than visually, I don't think it changed anything. Blight Town runs a lot smoother, from my understanding. Okay, the floor is still gone. We just gotta go for it. There are our souls. Should I go for my souls, or should I just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Avoid, avoid. Shields up, boys. Here we go. Make a jump for it. <gasps> no, don't, don't roll off! Why would you roll off, you stupid idiot? Ugh, I need some water. I'll be right back. <laughs> Miyazaki actually apologized for this boss. The good news is we don't have to do those side parts again. The bad news is we lost all our humanity and souls. That's not a big deal, though, because I got a butt-ton of humanity. So as soon as we beat this boss, we're immediately popping 10 humanity again. Uh, uh, the run is a little disappointing, but, uh, that seems like the trick. Run in with the shield up. Take the two sweeping hits so that you don't get knocked into a pit. And then as long as you hit the branch from the right angle, I had it that time, but my character rolled into the pit. I landed on the branch. Ugh. That's fine. We don't, I mean, my soul level is quite high. I don't need the souls. I don't need the humanity. So I'm at a point where like uh, retrieval is just like, I don't care. Is he fighting the Witch of Isolith? Bad of Chaos, I mean. Is this the Witch of... Is this the... The Witch of Isolith? My understanding is the Witch of Isolith and some of the Daughters of Chaos, they, like, merged together to try to rekindle the First Flame and ended up morphing into the Bed of Chaos, which is actually where all the demons are coming from. Like, it spews out demons. Has he gotten any Lord Souls yet? I've gotten Four Kings and Seath. Run, jump, run. I hate having to run by this thing. I am so disappointed. So disappointed in that last one. Watch now, like that one was so close. We almost did it on our first try, which I appreciate y'all's help with because I, uh, I was just sort of bumbling around. I'm like, well, it's a, an orange glowing area. That seems right. <laughs> so I appreciate the confirmation there that that was the right thing to do. And then the second time certainly looked like we had it. And then of course, oh, you know, you know, it would really help if we put on Havels, then we can run at full speed. That might've made the difference, honestly. Really could have. Yeah, Dracon, um, last stream I mostly played through the DLC. That was really fun. If you're on the, if you're on my Discord, um, you can pop on there and all the VODs are posted there somewhere in the general chat. You probably have to search for just the word VOD and you could find them. I'll probably make a stream archive place for those. Otherwise, I'll start, I'm gonna start releasing the, uh, oh my god, it's shooting fire at me along the way. Uh, all the videos will start coming out on my channel soon. Ooh, drink up. Here we go. Jump! Oh! Oh! Go! Go! Run! Get in there, buddy! Uh, just roll through these branches. Get to the soft underbelly. Swing through. Destroy it! That's it? That's all it is? That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. What a time to be alive. I 
I don't even know what to put my points into now. I might start leveling faith and intelligence. That way I can use Artorias' sword for fun. Because I have the attunement slots, so I might want to start going into miracles. That could be fun. Justice reigns. I agree. That was a bit underwhelming. <laughs> well, that was bullshit. Yep. Uh, I'm happy that I got it on my third try. That could have been a lot worse having to run back over and over and over and over again. You can tell the devs knew this boss fight was terrible. Why, el why else make this the only fight that doesn't reset when you die? Yeah. Well, it definitely feels like it was a bit rushed. It feels like it was rushed almost certainly. Um. I'm not... I guess I could explore that lava area, but I'm not really keen on doing that if I don't have to. So I think we just leave. Yeah, I think I think we just go. I think Jones, you got the right idea though. The fight was getting to the end zone. I like it. See, yeah, I I I agree with you to an ex to the extent of I think it's a it's a unique concept. I can see why on an individual level pe people might not like it, but in the face of the whole game, I do think that occasionally you need some kind of boss like that. What I don't like though is the zone. I think the zone is kind of blah. Like, the zone to get to the boss was kind of lame, which I think, coupled with the fact that you can easily get swept into a pit by the boss, is definitely a little, uh, a little disconcerting. Alright, so that means we're going to the catacombs, which means I need a divine weapon. There's a couple options here. I'm gonna go to the undead parish so I can talk to... Andre, who can do the the uh, divine enchantment for me. There's a hidden bonfire in the lava in the lava area, by the way. I could do. I mean, I have a second Balder side sword that I could make divine. I could just do that. Alternatively, I've got this long sword plus seven. I might just go ahead and make that my uh, my divine weapon. In fact, I'm almost definitely going to do that because it's already pretty much leveled up. So we have to reset it to plus five and then change it into a divine weapon. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm. I know, I know. We've got the fire ember. You can't use it. Okay, so we have to reset this to plus five. We have to make it divine. And then we reinforce it. This takes green Titanite, which we have plenty of. Is that as high as it... Is that as high as it goes? I know I could also use the Silver Knight Spear, but I don't have enough Twinkling Titanite to level it up the whole way compared to my Longsword now, so... Uh, also, I'm used to the moveset of the Longsword. It's pretty much the same as the Balder Side Sword, so I think it's a, a fine choice. Lost Isolith is a pretty meh area. The ruins after the lava looked like it had potential, but the lava zone is just boring. Dracon, are you the one that that was playing this for the first time as I've been playing it, or have you... Um, I mean, it seems like you finished it by now, or have you played this long in the past? Mm. All right, and then... Can we turn it into, like, a plus... We could do a cult... I assume the occult won't work against um, skeletons, only divine. No, I've just watched several people play through it a whole lot. I definitely plan on playing New Game Plus, but I'll probably just do it on my own time, because I imagine people don't want to watch me do a whole other playthrough. Al although... Um, New Game Plus would probably be a lot faster because I know where everything is. I don't have to kind of puzzle my way through it. I think for a first playthrough, this certainly has gone really well. But it would go even better uh, a second time through when I know all the boss weaknesses. I already have leveled up weapons. I can just, like, blaze through it. Even though I think on New Game Plus, everything does get stronger. So, would be fun, though. Wow, we one-shot these guys now. I remember when we came down here, these guys were killing us. But you do want to play through it eventually? Yeah. 
it is fun. I got into it because I started watching Brett play it a while ago when he used to stream. That's what that's what got me started, and then uh Just thought there was maybe something to pick up there. We already got it though. Alright, so we have to change to our Divine Sword. See, we still got the stab. That I rely a lot on that. Because I use the stab so much, I might just I might like a rapier. I might like Rickard's rapier or something I could level up, because I do really like the rapier stuff. The catacombs. So I came down here one time, I killed this guy, oh god, and then he resurrected, and I was like, oh Jesus, what do we do? But now we got a divine sword, so I guess they will never come back, is the whole point. Look at you. I also have the sunlight maggot helmet, so that might be a good thing to put on here. This is really creepy. Flamberge is a rapier. Flamberge. Ah! Alright, so we only have a plus five weapon, so these things are a little harder to kill, but not that bad. Oh no, the bone zone. Yeah, I have to say it. Skeletons! There's so many! Why so many skeletons? Ah! Uh-oh. They repost. Or they can, at least. They parry. No? Okay. Who's this creepy motherfucker? Get out of here! Alright. Sure. Do you have the light spell from the DLC? Uh, yes, but I don't have enough intelligence to use it. So I think I'm just gonna have to put on the, uh, the sunlight maggot. And speaking of, not really speaking of the sunlight maggot, but I wanna, do I have enough titanite to level up my armor a little bit more. I do. Because I'm going to put on... I'm just going to go ahead and put on my heavier armor, because it will keep me more safe, especially if I, if I have to change my uh, helmet. To this weird thing. There we go. And we're slow rolling, so we definitely don't need Havels, so like, we might as well just ditch that and put on something like... Steel Protection, I guess. Those- those guys shoot fire, so Flame Pipe- Flame Plate- Flame Stone Plate could be okay. Let's just do this for the Skeletons for now, I guess. That guy you killed was a Necromancer. Oh! So is it like, you kill the necromancers, if you don't have a divine weapon, you find and kill the necromancers, and then the skeletons can't come back, I presume. Yeah, this armor set is great. I take, like, no damage. Well, now I don't think I need this, given that we just ran into a brightly lit area. There's another one over there. I imagine if you're if you're speeding through this or you want to come through the catacombs first, you just run. You don't bother with the skeletons, you just run. And then you like you try to get to the necromancers in some fashion. If you can get to them and kill them, then the skeletons can't come back. Okay, please stop. Please stop that. Be wary of left. I would vote that down if I was diligent enough to do it. Oh, maybe that left. 
Whoa! Please? Please pass away. Mm, getting turned around here. Stop! What the fuck was that? Just looked like something might be in there. Apparently not. So spooky. I actually hate these necromancers because they shoot fire, not for any other reason. <laughs> no! That was a nice spinning move, buddy. God, I can take so much punishment with this armor. I do not regret upgrading it at all. Lucerne. Look like a halberd. Why are necromancers down here? Why are they resurrecting skeletons? Stop doing that. Why are you why are you down here? There are barely any living things in this world and you're here trying to like raise skeletons. Just stop it. I think it's cute how the skeletons do like spinny moves. Oh, okay, here he is. There are multiple skeletons. Let's see if we can draw them to us. Please, stop, stop. Okay, we're back at the bottom. You know what? You know what? People were shitting on this ring when I picked it up. Ring of Evil Eye. Let's go, let's do it. All right, so we've been through here. We checked in. Wow, what's... Now nah, I'm a little lost. This is where... The archer was? Okay, no, this is all connected. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Yeah, we've been in there. That's where we got Lucerne, which means we come up here. This is a dead end. That was an exploding skull. Yeah, sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat, but um, I experienced those in a few places prior. Looks like that's where we'd need to go. We don't want to drop in there. These are the two areas we, yeah, okay. So here we go, onwards. All right. More exploding skulls. Go ahead. Thank you. Friendly fire. Oh, get piece of shit statue! Get out of here! Man, I mean, how would you even guess to bring a divine weapon down here? Like, if I was playing with no... No help from the chat, I would have had no idea. I would have just had to run down and try and kill all the necromancers. Okay, we have to push that. You know who we haven't seen for a while is that lady who went on a, an expedition down here. The Way of the White People? Aren't they uh, down here? Because they want Nido Senpai to notice them? God damn, I hate those things. Fuck out of here with that fire. Get out of here! Cute little spinning skeletons. Stop shooting fire. I presume the necromancers do not respawn, but I don't know. I'm just making that up, so. I guess if we wanted to drop down, we couldn't. There might be goop down there if we can eventually get down there, so we might need the rusted iron ring. Hole in the wall.
Whoa! Ah! Ah! Crystal lizards. Are we gonna be able to get back up there? God damn it. Alright. Sure, twinkling titanite. Don't. God. St I hate. Stop it! So I guess coming down here was strictly for the crystal lizard. They do not respawn. Okay, great. It's Lizard Lord. Are these gonna break too? Yup! And we're back here. Weird. Alright. <laughs> well, I'll keep an eye out for that. Apparently there are places where the floor just breaks. It scares, it scares the shit out of you. I hate these statues because they don't really do much damage. They just scare the shit out of me. They make me jump every time. Right, that's where we fell through the floor. I don't think there's anything else down there. Hello, Skelly Boy. We came down here with a lot of Estus, so I don't think we're really going to have to reset this area at all, unless we want to reattune magic, which... I think fire works pretty well against skele skeletons. God damn it. Because fire works pretty well against undead in general, which makes me think it would probably work pretty well against skeletons. Ow. It's facing the wrong way. Looks like there's going to be something that will open this. Got a lot of time, because they, they spawn and they kind of like crack themselves on the head. And then you have a, a chance to kill them. Soul of a proud knight. God. Ugh. Statues. All right, the only way to go then is down. I think we've been in here. We've been in here. Okay, down. Don't parry me. He parried me. Be careful on the stairs. Honestly, the lock-on sometimes is what would have caused me to fall into a pit more than anything else. Somehow we have to find our way up there. Lock your shields and defend yourselves. Their arrows won't get through. Well, it certainly looks like we could drop there. Should we do that, or should we go back up to the door that we opened? All right, we're, there's a couple different ways to go now. Too many different ways to go now. There's a fog door. Don't, don't hit me, please. <laughs> that looks like... Stop doing that! <laughs> oh, cool. We'll light this, but I'm not going to sit at it. I don't want to, I don't want to resurrect the enemies. You can drop down, just be really careful. All right. Thank you. Roll through it! God damn it! It's a nice view, it's true. Okay, there's our path to the fog door. So, let's backtrack and drop down that pit. Well, there's a couple different ways to go. We can go down the pit, we can go, um, we can drop down the side as well. So let's drop down the pit first, I say. 
which is down here. Apparently I picked up some free humanity at one point. Really excited to lose 11 next time we die. Alright. Luckily, somebody has lit the way for us, so let's casually drop. Yes, thank you, person, for the here. Prism stones, prism stones would be good for this, too. Oh! Ah! Boss, maybe? Skelly Boy Jones? Be gone with you. You spoil my focus. Oh, is this the skeleton blacksmith y'all were talking about earlier? Still not going to sit. We have a ton of Estus, and I'd rather not respawn the enemies if I can help it. Hello? Hmm. My. Is that an ember from New Londo? And a fine ember it be. What do you say? Why not leave it with me? I'll give you a flame to feast your eyes upon. I don't know. You basically just told us to fuck off, so maybe I'll keep the ember for myself. Yes, yes, very well. We'll get these old bones to work. <laughs> His voice is so weird. They're like, well, he's a skeleton. Just put a weird filter over it. Is there anywhere you could buy Titanite chunks? That would be so nice. <laughs> I'm here to smith, not to chit-chat. Motherfucker, you wanted the ember. All right, so he's the one that does fire weapons. If that'll be all, then be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Let's see if he'll take our chaos ember too. Hmm. Why, that's an ember unlike any that I have seen. A very curious pattern. Could it be the flame of the legendary witch? I know. Suppose you left that ember with me. Old Mamos would never let you down. No, not ever. We are typically running around with a lot of humanity, so maybe on a new game plus, I would just make like a chaos. I would just change my lightning's Y hander to a chaos Y hander and go crazy. <laughs> that would be really fun. Yes, splendid, splendid indeed. The my own the reason he sounds weird is because the voice actor's voice clips were corrupted in something or something and it was never fixed. <laughs> uh, what do you sell? Nothing that I need. Well, what was that about? 